Welcome you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can change our preferred Wi-Fi band in Windows uh, 10 or any other type of Windows computer really. And it's just basically wanting to change it to 5 gigahertz. Now if you've got a, a Wi-Fi adapter and you're running 2.4 gigahertz, I think someone mentioned it in the comment section the other day when I did a, a Wi-Fi video they wanted to know how to force change it to five gigahertz. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do that. Now, first you need to make sure that your computer is compatible with the five gigahertz. Now I've already done a video on that. So I'm gonna just quickly uh, show you here. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. If you want to see this video, then check a couple of days ago and you'll see it there. But basically open up your command prompt and uh, just type this command in and it will give you the information on your Wi-Fi adapter you should see here uh, the radio types supported and if you're seeing the generations on here like AC you know you're going to have uh, the 5 gigahertz uh, supported there and even the likes of a generation N should support those so now we know that uh, the Wi-Fi adapter does support it what you want to do is go down to the start button here right click on this and we want to go to device manager here open up the device manager and from here what you want to do is go down to where it says network adapters open this little window up here and you should see now your your Wi-Fi adapter or your wireless adapter or whatever it is you're using on your laptop or whether it be a USB type like this one now what you need to do here is right click on this one and go to properties and from here you want to go to where it says advanced inside the advanced you're going to get a bunch of settings inside here be careful when you're playing around with these because uh, you don't want to mess up your Wi-Fi adapter and you have to reset it but basically what you're looking for is a setting that allows you just to enable the 5 gigahertz and as you can see here on this adapter which is the Realtek type uh, driver based adapter here you will see uh, this one here which says VHT 2.4G and that is enabled if you want to force it you could actually disable this and this will then force it to uh, 5G now once it's made those changes it will shut down and you will need to go back into properties then back into the advanced tab here now we need to go back into wireless mode now and check that out on the wireless mode you want to look on the drop down and you can see here on the drop down there's a bunch of different settings here we can change now if you want to force it you can go into the AC mode here and force it to only use that value uh, so it's only going to use this uh, AC uh, value and none of the others so uh, the problem with doing this is if you're going to struggle to connect to 5G and uh, you do only force it to the AC recommended value here, then you may have trouble connecting. So just be careful when you're doing this. OK, that's why they leave this on auto. So it will find the most uh, strongest connection and connect to it. And it will use all of the uh, values here to connect to. So just bear that in mind, okay? But if you do want to force it, you can force it to AC. Another thing you may see here is preferred band. Now, depending on what type of uh, driver you're using, some of the driver ones will have preferred band. And I'll show you an image of what that looks like on the screen right now. And if you are using the preferred, preferred band, you can just change that to 5 gigahertz, and then you should... Uh, be forced th uh, that um, adapter to use 5 gigahertz so that's another thing you can do it doesn't list it on this Realtek 8814AU wireless uh, LAN adapter here it doesn't show it on here but this is the way you can do it here and uh, there's a bunch of other settings which we're not going to go into in this video but basically what you're looking for here is is the actual uh, mode here you can see VHT 2.4 G we've disabled that and also going into the other one now what you need to do once you've done all this stuff if you've got preferred mode here enable that and also the bandwidth you may see something saying bandwidth as well uh, you can go in there and change the bandwidth 
Also, another thing you can do is go into your router and uh, type in your router to connect to it. So you can see here, mine is 192.168.0.1. You then need to put in your password and username to log into your interface here. Once you're inside here, uh, you will be able to go to uh, the advanced settings and you should now see uh, wireless. Click on the wireless uh, button here. Your menu may look different to mine, but you just need to go to your wireless settings here and then go into your wireless signal settings from there and you should be OK. So just check those. So wireless signal, I'm going to go into wireless signal here. Inside your uh, wireless signal, you can see here we have wireless frequency 2.4G. Now, if you don't want to run 2.4G and you want to force it to use only 5G, then obviously you can put the uh, tick inside the disabled 2.4G and this will force it to only use 5G. Uh, and that's basically how you can also force it to only use 5G on uh, your Wi-Fi adapter. Now, again, I can't stress enough that if you've got issues and, it, and it's not a very strong signal, you may run into problems. So it's always best to leave both. But if you do want to force it, that's basically how you can uh, force it to only use 5G. Another thing you can do here, as you can see, wireless mode, you can mess around with the wireless modes here. And you can see it's going to be forcing this now uh, as to use A, N and AC. And this is a mixture of uh, the uh, values that we are asking it to connect to. And you can see uh, the enable 5g will use a bunch of these different ones depending on what's the strongest now if you want to force it even further you can do by just using the ac if that's what you want to do you can force it to use that sort of technology uh, and that will uh, obviously uh, be what it's going to connect to again you could run into uh, difficulties when you do that another thing here you'll see uh, these are grayed out uh, and it don't matter what you do here it, it's grayed out here so what you're going to need to do I think if we disable this smart Wi-Fi it will allow you to now uh, take control of what you want to do so you can see here we do have 20 uh, megahertz uh, 20 to 40 megahertz or 20 to 40 to 80 megahertz depending on what uh, you want to do uh, you want to uh, connect to then that is the best thing I would probably put it up to this one uh, if I was forcing it to uh, go to AC here and that way you're going to force it to stay on the higher ones here as well also you've got the channels here and this is another thing you can do if you're getting com uh, sort of a confliction on the channel that you're using maybe a lot of other people are using that channel in your area you can get an app for your phone uh, and it will look at your Wi-Fi and it will tell you what channels are really, really busy. And what you want to do is use a channel which is not as busy as your neighbours. So, for instance, if you've got a lot of people in your local area that are using the uh, Wi-Fi and they're very close to you, then you may want to change the channel to something that they aren't using. And that way you'll get full control of that channel for yourself and everyone else will be using the busy channel, which will slow things down. So that's another thing you can do there. Anyway, that's basically how you can uh, force your 5 gigahertz connection on your machine or on your laptop. And that's basically how you can force that adapter to uh, connect to 5G. Now, obviously, just bearing in mind that you always want to uh, try to connect to the most stable and fastest one possible. But sometimes just putting it on to forcing it to 5G isn't always going to be the fastest. So just bear that in mind. Anyway. Hope this one answers all your questions. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.